Good morning, Wolf Trap students and staff. My name is Mr. Campay and welcome to the WTRP Morning News Show. Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Stubbs. Thanks for joining us today, Thursday, January 28th, 2021. Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday today to Zane Malik, Jackson Mundy, and Mrs. Colco. Mrs. Colco, happy birthday! All right, today we're going to be hearing from students that want to recommend good books to you. You know it. I know it. Miss Stubbs knows it. It's Title Talk Thursday. That's right. One of my favorite days of the week. Let's get ready to listen to Leonora Corbett, Elizabeth Monahan, JC Gewertz, and Charlie Bedzis. This is Leonora from second grade. The name of the book is called Pear and the Book Wagon. The author is Nancy Smiler Levons. And then I like this book because it's about this girl who didn't know how to read, but then she learned from a lady. And then I learned how to read. So I recommend this book to the second grade up to fourth grade. I like this book because um, it has I had a, a connection with it, and it's like really nice and creative. So if you like, if you want to learn how to read, you just go for it, and just push a little deeper if you don't know what these words are. And remember, sound them out. Bye. It's Leonard. Hi, Wolf Chap. I'm here demonstrating my the series of the books. And I chose The Princess in Black because it's a really fun series. And if you would like it too, like me, you can actually get the seventh book. This is the first one. And I have the whole series with me right here. Here's the whole series. And also, um, I got the seventh one, which is The Princess in Black. Bath time battle. It's really fun. And I'm going to show you something in it. So, here's a hilarious part. There's a monster with so much stinky, even half her up. And, um, oh, here's what the monster really is. And there's been this small little monster. It's just been stuck there for like a week. And here is what it really looks like. Uh, and there's the little small monster. So, if you have these series, I hope you enjoy them. There's like plenty more. We don't know if there's an eighth one, but it's really fun because there's a lot of series. There's like, um, there's seven series, and, um, one is funny because, um, uh, here it is. There's another funny one because. These bunnies are monsters from Monsterland. Here, I'll show you Monsterland. Oh, I just passed it. There's Monsterland where that monster is diving in. And, um, everyone's just... Oh. <laughs> and this is the princess in black, but she's really a pink princess. Bye, and I hope you enjoy the book. The series. Bye! Hello, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm going to be reading the book called An Earthworm's Life. And it's written and illustrated by John Hilmer. Hillman. Sorry. Um, and An Earthworm's Life. And most of the time, just spending time beneath our feet. And um, two months later, a baby earthworm hatches from its egg and it crawls out of the egg case. This is the egg case at first. 
And then this is a baby crawling out of the egg case. And then at night, it feeds on dead leaves and young earthworms, earthworm tunnels through the soil. At night, it feeds on the leaves like these steadily and like this steadily over here, right here. And this is the tunnels. So I really like this book because I like bugs. And I'm really interested about learning about worms. And I've got rocks in my yard. And under there every day I go to catch worms and study them and observe them. Well, bye! Hello, Wolf Trap. Today I'm going to share my book. I'm JC in second grade. And this is my book, Sunset of the Saber Tooth by by Mary Pope Osborne. I like this book because it is about a boy and girl, girl named Jack and Annie and a mouse named Peanut that go on a bunch of adventures. And this is the seventh book, so you'd probably choose to get the first book first. And I recommend this book for first grade through six. My favorite part is when their mouse, Peanut, tries sneaking on an M in the middle of the magic tree house where they put some things they find that they're trying to break a spell from their, to free their friend Morgan. Fabulous, yet again. I loved how Leonora said that thing about her book. She said, if you want to learn how to read, you just got to go for it. Push a little deeper. Absolutely. And that so reminds mm -hmm. me of when I was younger because reading was not easy for me. I would read something and then wouldn't remember what I read. And then I'd have to read it over again and wouldn't remember what I read. So I think it's important to remember that you just have to keep trying or push a little deeper, as Leonora said. And now look at you. You're a librarian. I, I would know. say that, that is the epitome of perseverance, wouldn't that's you? That's right. That's yep. right. All right. And that's what you need. When you read, you need perseverance, boys and girls. So let's end our show with the weather. The weather today is going to be a high of 33 degrees and clouds in the morning and sun in the afternoon. Don't tell anyone. I heard a little birdie told me in the ear that maybe, maybe there's some snow coming our way. Cross your fingers. Think frosty thoughts. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining us today for the WTRP Morning News Show. Have, Have a, a talkative, talkative twirly. Title title talk. Talk Thursday. Have a great day, guys. Bye, everyone.